Hi there guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to a brand new series that I'm going to be doing on this channel. I'm going to be making a level 3 skiller from absolute scratch. Now as you know my other series, The Great Rebuild, is uh, currently on hold as I was waiting for BH to drop and it came out uh, a few days ago, like 5 days ago or something and to be honest it's just a complete laggy shit show at the minute so what I'm going to be doing is storing all my T1s until they update it because at the minute it's just way too stressful like I'm getting connection drops I'm not seeing when people are attacking me until like five ticks later it's just ridiculous I've seen a lot of criticism on all over reddit and whatnot so yeah when they update it then I'll be getting some more content in with the PK and however I still will be training that account up like I said but I will be focusing more on this series for a while as I've never actually made a skiller before like ever I've had PK and accounts and mains but I've never made a skiller so this is going to be a first for me and eventually I want to make an Iron Man um, as I've never done that before either so this is going to be the uh, first the first of many in this series I think because uh, we're going to be trying to max that's the goal now the thing about skillers is uh, a lot of the skills take a lot of money to buy so I needed to get myself a half decent cash stack before I started so I uh, looted in PvP for about two hours and honestly hit bank really didn't expect this to be as successful as it was but to be honest i managed to get myself a whole load of loot which is really going to help me get some quick levels stats at the beginning are painfully slow and you can really see the difference between doing this in mems and non-mems i remember i did this on the beginning of my p of the great rebuild account collected loot for the same amount of time got nowhere near as this much this is ridiculous this could be a full fledged money making method like on its own you can make so much money like I sold all this stuff off in the GE and I was aiming for about one mil but it was just under that and uh, but it wasn't enough to affect my plans in any way to be honest with you so from then on I had to go and get my axes boom got my axes that's that done now time to get skilling So there's 15 range boys, range? 15 range, I fucking hope it's not range. There's 15 wood kind, that was extremely quick, so we're onto oaks now. There we go, there's 25. And 30, finally onto these willows, Jesus, that kind of took longer than what I expected. Forty wood kind, 10 more levels left and we're done with this shit. Boom, there we go, 50 wood kind boys. Now it's time for us to go and burn it all, every single last log, and hopefully that should get us to 55 making, that is the aim, that. And there we have it, 55 making. Hasn't taken me too long to get wood kind of fire making up, so while I was in the rock, I decided to quickly run it and do the quiz, just to get a little head start in my hunter and my construction. So the plan with this account is to hit 99 fire making first through winter Todd. Then I'm going to open all the boxes at once and then we're going to move from there. So pretty much the winter Todd grind is going to start at the end of this episode. So pretty much that was why I needed to get a little head start on construction and you know slay up doesn't hurt does it. Also having the rune light plugin just makes this is so easy the answers are highlighted in green absolutely fantastic so with that being done i went and bought what i thought would be enough to get me to 22 construction ends up i didn't buy enough so i was making a few trips back and forward because i hadn't done again construction in years so i had to relook up the xp tables and whatnot so yeah it was a fucking long ride i'm not gonna lie 
took me a while to get back into the swing of things but once we was on it we was on it and I was banging out oak tables and fucking dressers and all sorts so there we go 36 crafting and I think I, crafting why do I keep saying the wrong skills man Jesus construction 36 construction and I think I'm gonna stop here So I had my construction out of the way and the last thing I really needed to do before I started Link Pod was get myself some warm clothes. So you know what time it is, Clue Scroll Hunter outfit. So I'm just gonna let this play through while I run around and grab this pretty much. It's not gonna be much to say. Guides are all over the place. If you need a guide where to get this, it's four pieces of clothing, I'm pretty sure, or five, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, you need it for Winter Todd, because you need warm clothing. So I'll be back when I've got that. So I had all that, and if I do say so myself, it's the first time I've seen this outfit, and it looks fucking dope, especially with this pink beard I'm sporting. Can't go wrong with the pink beard, boys. Decided to get 25 thieving quickly after that, just on cake school stalls because the XP is so fast, and I do eventually want to get the excite out of the way, and it's just another prerequisite that I'm going to need for that, so that was banging out real quick. Now, pretty much the last stop before I go and camp at Winter Todd for the rest of my fucking life is Herbalore. So, Druidic Ritual, five minute quest, it's like the 15th time I've done it, but did that real quick, got me free Herbalore, and that was it. I was ready to go and do Winter Todd. So, I looked at a few guides for this and whatnot, and they all pretty much said the same thing. If you're 10 HP, take cakes, stand in a particular corner so you don't get hit by the ice. And uh, to be honest with you, it took me a while to hit the level, like the point cap, 500. I was, for some reason, when I was doing it and not fletching, I wasn't getting enough points. So I decided halfway through to switch up the actual tactic that I was using, and I decided to fletch as well because it gives you more points. So you get less fire making XP, but you get more points. And right now I'm kind of doing this for the crates. Fire making XP is ridiculous anyway. As you can see, 65 fire making right there, and I'm going to end this episode right here. The grind's going to stay on, and I'm going to be here for a while. And next episode, we'll see how far I've got. Probably going to do some other stats as well. I know I'll need to level my herbivore and farming, which uh, I'm not looking forward to, especially farming. Fuck me. 
never done that skill ever since the creation of RuneScape. But yeah, everything's looking good on this account, 65 fire making, so we'll see you next time guys, hope you enjoyed, and remember to subscribe.